Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got some new motor from Foxio. We have Foxio Datura 2105.5 motor. And before I begin this video, I would like to clarify that this video isn't sponsored by Foxio in any means. And now that being said, without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Motor comes in this plastic box and this is to give it a premium look. And inside the box, we have a motor and along with some foam covering to protect the motor. So this is the hardware bag and this motor is having some really nice cool features about which we'll be talking very soon so this is a motor itself you can see it is having around 15 centimeter long wire now this motor uses m2 kind of uh, mounting hardware and that's it inside the box so let me keep it aside now i got four of these motors so i have it installed on my build over here you can see so this is the build on which I'll be testing these motor and there are some unique things about this motor and we'll be discussing about them. Now before I begin that I would like to tell you guys a little bit about Foxair. Now Foxair started their business as an airsoft uh, camera manufacturer then they switched to FPV camera manufacturing and after that now they are expanding their business into electronics motors and frame. Now there is something different about the way Foxer is doing it. Normally when a brand expands and does all that kind of stuff, they usually go ahead and copy uh, designs of some other manufacturers. They don't really do any kind of innovation over there. But with the case of Foxer, they have really innovated a lot of things into their designs and that can be seen and this is a perfect ex uh, example of that motor. So Foxer has made sure that they are doing something different. They are providing something better to the hobby. Now let's talk about the motor. Now. Inside the packaging, you are getting some M2 hardware and also some M3 hardware. So let me explain you how all of this works. Now, there are different lengths of like uh, uh, M2 screws over here. Uh, so we have some short length over here. I don't think it will be visible in the camera. These are the short length M, uh, M2 screws and we have this longer ones uh, uh, M2 as well. Now keeping those mounting hardware aside, let's talk about some new things which they are doing. Now if you're gonna see over here, I have this uh, motor, you can see that the shaft is a little bit thin and that's because the shaft is M3 rather than M5 which, to which we are used to and also there is this uh, tiny adapter. So this adapter allows you to use a normal uh, propeller. So you're gonna just install, uh, install it like this and then you can use your normal propeller with this motor. So that's something nice. Foxer has made sure that they have got you covered. And in case if you want to use M3 propeller, you have some cool propellers from Foxir. So Foxir has got you covered from all the sides. So they have specially uh, designed a new propeller in collaboration with Dal Prop. You can see over here. Uh, yeah. So they are working with Dal Prop and they have designed this new propeller. And the best thing about this propeller is that it is using a M3 mounting hardware. So this is not your regular M3 propeller. This is not having a M5 hole inside it it is having a m3 so if you want to use it with this motor you can use it like this and then you install your nut now while installing nut you should be a bit careful about that because there are two different kinds of nut which goes with this motor so with this m3 there are two kinds of nut i can't find them right now so yeah i found them so this is the nut which goes with your m3 propeller so in case if you want to use a m5 propeller and you have to use this kind of nut which they have supplied so this is a much wider nut compared to the one which we'll be using on m3 uh, now let's talk about the motor and its uh, design now if you're gonna see uh, flip the motor you can see that they are using some single stranded winding on this motor and that looks really nice out of the box and the motor bell is a uni bell rather than a two piece bell so it will gonna give you a better durability Along with that, you can see at the base, we have 12 into 12 mm M2 mounting pattern. And the winding is a bit different. This is the same kind of winding, which is done in RC and power motor. So this is not your regular winding. You can see that there is a termination over here. Other than that, now let's talk about the magnets, which they're using. Now they are using N52S H series magnet. So basically these are the best quality magnets, which you can get on a hobby grade motor. So 
in every way foxer has made sure that they are delivering you a really nice product and now let's talk about the size of this motor now the size of this motor is 2105.5 which is a bit odd in my opinion but there are some things about it because i had a talk with one of the representatives and they told me like why 2105.5 so they have also seen the chris rosser's video on motor uh, explanation and how different kind of motor size affect the performance so with 2105.5 you are having a slightly less width in the motor diameter so this will gonna give you a increased motor responsiveness so in case if you need more responsiveness or you are into racing or hardcore racing or you want to build a ultra light 5 inch then this motor is the perfect motor along with that this motor is also designed for cinewhoop so in case if you want to use these motors in a cinewhoop for like much higher thrust compared to a 2004 size motor then this is the option which you can go with this is uh, in between 2004 and 2305.5 size motor so this is a perfect balance and you can also use it on 4 inch and you can also use it on 6 inch and 7 inch as a with a bi blade propeller so in case if you want to do some long range testing or some long range flight or some normal cruising you can also use this motor with that using this adapter which has been supplied so that's it for today i hope you guys like this in case this video was really helpful for you please consider subscribing to this channel it really helps me a lot thank you guys